John Udisak and Assistant U.S. Attorney Ellie McClain told Raymond Scales, I don't even know what them dumbass white fools are doing. They're not going nowhere with Eamon Raw because they're idiots. No white boy in the federal government, NASA, NSA, science, federal agents is intelligent enough or smart enough to even speak to Eamon Raw, let alone travel with him. No white boy, if, if a white boy was walking beside Eamon Raw in Africa, the dogs would shit in his mouth. What what person in the world would trust a white boy with Eamon Raw unless it's Dan Marino, Dave Pizzoli, Jim Boko with J.C. Pelosi, Bill Moss, Rick Cranach, Caesar Aldersert, Troy Benson, Tommy Flynn, Bill Fraley, Kojak and Sean Coach Pazio. You got to be kidding me. What, what white boy would even think his ass is smart enough to walk beside Dan Marino and the University of Pittsburgh, the Great House? John Hudisak said, you know what's wrong with these damn fools? These white idiots know their ass is stupid. And they're going to try to pretend like they're going to go to Italy. They're going to travel to Africa and Italy and be with the University of Pittsburgh elect of God. Who in the hell would trust a white boy from the U.S. government to even sit down and let him eat with their dog? You got to be crazy. Since you return to Adam McClain said, John, I'm not thinking about these stupid ass white idiots. They're gonna, we're going to promote the father's three false motions. Everybody in Newcastle and Alacorpa and Beaver County and East Liverpool and Wellsville and Youngstown know what these fools are up to in Cleveland and Pittsburgh and Atlanta and, and Chicago and Detroit. Every black person know what the government's up to forging the indictment on Eamon Roth from the University of Pittsburgh saying he's a Charles Brown from New York City. What fool would believe that? But you got 11 dumbass white jury and then one dumbass black jury that will believe anything. Assistant Attorney Ellie McClain told John Hudasek that. We'll just call in the U.S. Marshal, let him hear about the black voodoo, let them go ahead and play their little game, force some monetary movements on Eamon Roth's head. Then now Montgomery will be moving into her home in the country club of the South in 2025 to 2030. And then she'll move back to her homeland where her dad's from Kenya, Africa, anytime she wants to after 25 to 2030. And she can keep that house and the house in Newcastle for a storage house if she wants. But nobody's thinking about no dumbass white boy and no U.S. government thinking they going somewhere <laughs> with God's elect and Coach Jackie Sherrill. You want to talk to Coach Jackie Sherrill? He listened to that bullshit and he'll play along with that bullshit John Hudasek said until he get tired of listening to it. And you hear Blanc from the FBI and Walter Wine from the FBI, they knew too. Who can set up Charlie Brown from the University of Pittsburgh? You got to be a damn fool.